okay now we need to complete the reset password method so first of all let's check request here and dollar request and uh, we have to validate so let's say we can just copy this again here and paste it here okay so uh, we will have to validate the email and don't need up this also to these okay uh, let's keep the email here and the next thing we have to validate can copy from here these all remove this required confirmed and then these all okay and after this we have to check the user so user equal to JSON and with a message user not found uh, invalid code and let's four okay and if we found the user then we have to the same like user, user password equal to decrypt dollar request of new password this I okay verification code is working now and if user of sale then response back the JSON again and message something like the same here yep so this is completed now let's test this okay so first of all we have to select the raw and then json and here we have to send the email so
verification code equal to one oh, no, I just entered one code here and new password or let's say password send this okay so we have to start the server but uh, we have to start uh, the server and also we have we have now two commands so in the second terminal we will also start uh, another command which is HP system view work and these two will be always running so uh, these two we have to keep uh, up and running so if in case if there is any email process then it will be this will handle us uh, handle the email process for us so now uh, let's go back and test okay the given data was anyway the new password must contain a purchase and these also let's say uh, if the red capital one and the same we will copy paste here so it contain all the steps that is required for the password now it says the given data in the given uh, new password has appeared in the database Lee, please choose a different password so yeah this is uh, this message we see because of uh, this this one i think okay so let's change it to something else like uh, eight characters so four five six seven eight and the same here so it's not different so again the new password must contain an uppercase and lowercase letter um, okay so let's type small a small a okay now user not bound or invalid code okay because we have to change this so we knew uh, we know that we have uh, code here last time we got it by email so let's press this and now let's okay so password updated successfully and now we have to log in using this password okay so let's see let's save this and go back to login here we have this email and this password let's try it says invalid username and password now if we change this to this and then we could we got the user so we have successfully logged in now this code we will need further to use these four here these four calls all required this uh, token so uh, if we see here let's see uh, inside our api.php these all are inside the middleware with which is all synced okay so let's do uh, further in the next tutorial